After multiple diversions and delays, Qantas's ambitious project Sunrise got the official green light on Monday morning. Airline CEO Alan Joyce made the announcement in Sydney alongside a prototype Project Sunrise plane, an A350-1000 featuring Qantas livery, specially flown in from Toulouse for the occasion. From 2025, a fleet of 12 Airbus A350-1000s will fly non-stop from Australia's east coast to London and New York. In addition, Qantas firmed up an order for 40 new Airbus A321 XLRs and A220s to fly domestic and short to medium haul international routes, replacing existing aircraft with the first due to land in 2023. Qantas has also secured options for a further 94 narrow-body Airbus jets spread over the next decade. We've come through the other side of the pandemic, a structurally different company. Our domestic market share is higher, and the demand for direct international flights is even stronger than it was before COVID. The business case for Project Sunrise has an internal rate of return in the mid-teens, said Mr Joyce. The board's decision to approve what is the largest aircraft order in Australian aviation is a clear vote of confidence in the future of the Qantas Group. The board plan to link Australia's east coast cities to destinations on the other side of the world in a single hop was set to launch just before the pandemic derailed plans. Qantas had picked modified A350-1000s as its preferred aircraft and was just weeks away from confirming the aircraft order when COVID-19 turned everything upside down. Keen plane spotters knew an aviation news story was brewing when an A350-1000, registration Foxtrot Whiskey Mike India Lima, partly decked out in Qantas colours, took off from Toulouse on April 30th and flew down to Perth. In the early hours of Monday morning, the jet departed Perth for the trip across to Sydney, where it landed around 60 minutes ahead of the big announcement. Interestingly, the jet didn't make the Toulouse-Sydney flight in one hop, per Project Sunrise's top selling point. Although the A350-1000 is a sizeable plane, Qantas's A350s will only carry 238 passengers, with more than 40% of the cabin dedicated to premium seating. This compares to more than 300 seats on competitor airlines. Each Project Sunrise aircraft will include a quote-unquote wellness zone where passengers can stretch their legs and get the blood flowing again. The A350 and Project Sunrise will make any city just one flight away from Australia. It's the last frontier and the final fix for the tyranny of distance. As you'd expect, the cabin is being specially designed for maximum comfort in all classes for long-haul flying, said the Qantas CEO. When it comes to the narrow bodies ordered, the first A220s are due to land in late 2023, and the first A321XLRs are slated to start landing in late 2024. The 94 options are spread across A320 and A220 families, with flexibility on delivery timing and aircraft type. The A320s and A220s will become the backbone of our domestic fleet for the next 20 years, helping to keep this country moving. Their range and economics will make new direct routes possible, including serving regional cities better," said Mr Joyce. The Qantas's A321XLR will be 5 metres longer than the outgoing 737s, seating 200 people, 20 in business class and 180 in economy class. This is a 15% increase with no reduction in space between seats. The A321XLR can fly approximately 3,000 kilometers further than the 737-800s and opens up a wider range of direct domestic and short-haul international routes. The incoming A220-300s are larger overall than the outgoing 717-200s and will be configured to seat 137 people. 10 in business class and 127 in economy class, a 25% increase with no reduction in space between seats. It has almost twice the range at over 6,000 kilometres, meaning it can fly between any city in Australia. Most regular Qantas flyers will agree these new planes represent a significant upgrade. The Airbus order also locks in the Qantas drift away from Boeing in favour of Airbus. Airbus fans will appreciate that drift, Boeing fans may be less so. What do you think of this significant order? Let us know by leaving a comment.
In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.